Hello, my name is Jonathan McPhillips and I'm coming to you from my studio in Saunderstown, Rhode Island. And today I'd like to talk a little bit about Cape Ann Plein Air and my painting process in general, both uh, in the studio and uh, on location. Thank you for watching and hope you enjoy. So prior to 2019, I had been to Cape Ann um, uh, to paint more than several times, but never, um, you know, never more than a day or two, um, or just passing through, uh, and um, I never had a really uh, long experience of of, uh, of getting to know the area that well. Um, and then we live two and a half hours away, so uh, to have the opportunity in 2019 to, to be in the Cape Ann Plein Air event, uh, it was just it was fantastic for me. I was so happy to be able to to spend uh, you know uh, a week a week there to really get um, entrenched in, in in the location and, and to get a uh, a better feel for it uh, and its history and uh, you know, to visit some of the spots I maybe never had a chance to um, in my prior visits. So 2019 was was a thrill for me to be there. Um, it was also great to see some artists who I admire and uh, I've always followed and some, some I know virtually only and others um, you know, may have met in passing uh, at different events or gallery opportunities over the years, but um, that's kind of the way it is with, with plenty of events. You know, a lot of people uh, know each other for those certain periods of time um, when we get together uh, and then sort of spread off into our own, to our own corners to, to do our own thing. So um, for me, it was great uh, to get out there and get into the mix with a lot of other artists who I, who I admire and I, I think do great work. So I think that's one of the uh, my favorite things about plein air events in Cape Ann in particular is, is that camaraderie. Um, it's just wonderful uh, and hopefully that you know the, the, the people who come out to see it and uh, come to see the, the finished works and attend the events during the week uh, I hope they feel that too that um, there's some stuff going on behind the scenes um, uh, during the during these weeks where uh, there's a lot of great um, a lot of great friendships being made and, and things are uh, things are happening that can keep artists uh, engaged and happy even when there's terrible weather and uh, other challenges and you know not having the right frames and things like that. That that happens, but um, you know, everyone sort of goes through it. So you you get uh, you get used to all that kind of stuff that happens uh, when you're working out of out of your car or your rental car or whatever it may be. So um, it's a, it's a great experience. Uh, it's different for me. I don't do a, a lot of. Uh, events at this point in my life. Uh, maybe someday I'll try to do more. I, I don't know. Right now I do a lot of studio work and a lot of plenty of work locally in Rhode Island. Um, but it's, that's kind of very isolated. I, you know, can't always sometimes call people to paint or fellow artist friends uh, locally. You know, I paint impromptu. I might just jump out of my car and do something when I realize I have some time. Um, so the planning doesn't really happen that much anymore for that. The planning is relegated to the studio time. Um, and that's, part, that's really my process, is, is to work off of both the, the studio work and the, and the plein air work. Um, and I hope to try to make them both uh, seamless in the sense that I want to paint the same way, uh, indoors or out. Um, 
I didn't used to think in those terms or I, I didn't do that really for many years and then I realized it would be beneficial for me overall as an artist to treat both uh, you know the comfort and protection of my studio um, you know paint like I'm outdoors uh, and when I'm outside uh, try to bring some of that attention um, uh, a little bit more attention to detail in, in some places in the painting uh, that I might do indoors bring that outside uh, to a plein air painting so I tried to meld the two the two processes together um, and the plein air events really they help hone that one side of it which is great um, you know as far as Cape Ann goes uh, and Gloucester in particular um, I just love the fishing uh, villages and the history and the tradition um, you know very storied and very uh, you know tumultuous at times um, and it's a tough trade uh, we have New Bedford in Massachusetts and we have um, Point Judith in Rhode Island which is close to my home uh, also large fishing villages not quite the scale of Gloucester particularly Point Judith is, is a little bit smaller but still has that that real working port um, feel to it and all the, the all the vibrancy that I find exciting as an artist I mean I, I think that uh, you know the subject matter itself is one thing and that narrative is something that that's that's important in my work but just the shapes and the colors and the the vibrancy of of of, uh, of the aesthetics is a draw for me so to have that nearby uh, be it in Gloucester a couple hours away from my home or 20 minutes down the road from me is is wonderful it's it's what I'm drawn to what I'm, what I'm drawn to do so um, very lucky to be able to have these sorts of subjects at my uh, nearby so I can get to them and, and uh, document them be it with paint or photography and uh, just sort of build my own uh, portfolio off of all of these experiences and Cape Ann is a big part of those experiences um, in learning and growing as an artist I really look forward to getting back to Cape Ann when things hopefully get normal we'll be back there in, in May of 2021 I'm happy to be participating virtually in some form uh, here at the end of 2020 um, and we will be back and doing it again I look forward to it